This is the NFL on EA Sports as we welcome you to MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Miami Dolphins and the New York Giants. Time Panther Graham Gano has his set for his start as we are underway from MetLife Stadium. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25 yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. two and we get a signal and a timeout they'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter off of play action tongue of Iloa. oh he's gonna air it out right away he's got a man complete and all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 75 yards. And the Dolphins put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Wow, first play of the game, CD, 75 yards. These people, they haven't even filed in yet from the tailgate lots. Everyone talks about starting out fast. Everyone talks about getting explosive type plays. That was absolutely a thunderbolt. And on the defensive side, he spent all week scheming, all week preparing, and it seems like it goes right out the window. So they went for two and failed. They didn't use him on the PAT, but now he boots this one away with a 6-0 lead. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 right at the 30. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Throwing on second and eight, Jones. Throw left side, taken in by Galladay. Jones to Galladay there for a giant first. Let's we'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game. There goes Sterling Shepard. Touchdown. Sterling Shepard. 60 yards. And the Giants have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead. Had the option to hand that one off or run it himself, but instead, a really easy quick pass. I like the way they made a decisive decision and got it right to the receiver. One move later, he's in the end zone. 
Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Brian Dable dialing up a play call here as they will go for two. They're going to run it with Barkley. And he is into the end zone to give him a two-point lead. And they're able to ground it in there on the two-point try. And you and I were talking before the game. The two-point conversions from the 15-16 season, what has changed, what hasn't changed, partner? Yeah, I'll tell you what's changed is just your, no your normal strategy because now you're either kicking the football with the ball on the 15-yard line or if you decide to go for two, they put it on the two-yard line. So what are you thinking as a coach? Do I risk it? Do I go for it here? Do I try and gain a strategic advantage and maybe go for two early? That's what people are wondering about. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do, and you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Now a pass that's taken in by Hill, and he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. This one complete to Jalen Waddell. And they're going to get this up to midfield. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. First carry for Raheem Mostert. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Moster. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. The last run got six. Now second and four. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Two are going to throw. They'll roll him out right. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, the connection they've had has been excellent today, but not on that snap. I think he was asking just a little too much as he extended that play, hoping for one more completion with him. On second and goal, Tua being chased out left. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Tua Tungavailoa taking it in from two yards out. And the Dolphins are once again back in front. He hit him earlier in this first quarter with his arm. Now he does it with his legs. Right now, He's one of those stat stuffers that you see on the basketball court. You know, the guy with points, rebounds, assists, steals. One with the arm, one with the legs. Let's see if he can continue this pace. And sending out the reminder that, yeah, look, I'm known for having an arm, but I can do it with the legs on occasion when I need to. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. from the six. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. 
So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive to last into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. Throwing on second down, Jones. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. He'll buy some time right. Throw in deep for Galladay. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. I exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Oh, looking for Waddle, but it's intercepted. Julian Love picks it, and the Giants are going to take possession of the football. Well, their defense got him the football with an interception. They trot out there, Charles, in the very first play. They give the football right back. <laughs> Brand, I almost expect you coming like an auctioneer. We got two, we got two. Do I hear three? Remember, it was two in a row. Will we hit three in a row? Because these offenses, they got to be a little bit more careful as they go forward. These defenders, they're locked in and really focused. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. On third down, Barkley. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley, and another first and ten here. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And able to work his way down to the 16. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They'll go to Barkley again. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Barkley is into the end zone. Touchdown, Giants. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice, hard-charging run. Give it right back to him and let him cap things off. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Tua sets up to pass it. Got a man complete to Cedric Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 46. Forced out to his left. They're going deep for Hill. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I've got a good friend in football always talks about predictive history. He's got one of their two touchdowns. You can understand why they tried to find him again. 
weren't able to connect, but the thought, that was good. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. On play action, here's Tua. Over the middle, complete. It's Hill. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. He's got the first down. He's got a big game going right now. Already over 100 yards receiving in this first half alone. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. On the out route, he's got Mostert. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. Third down here. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. Tug of Iloa going for it on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the Giants are going to get the football back. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. Oh, they go with a tight end carry. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. But we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. They hand off to their big tight end. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Throwing Jones. He oh, rifles one and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. And that now two interceptions thrown in the second quarter. And you know, a lot of people look at these guys and they think to themselves that maybe, possibly, they're still thinking about the first one. And they probably are. I think in this case, he's just trying to atone for the first interception. Tried a little bit too hard, maybe forced it a bit, and instead created a second one. Play action, now it's Tua. And Wilson with it, complete. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. This one fielded at the five. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23.
The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And this will be a Giants first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Brad, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now Jones. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. So an opening drive interception to begin this second half. And just think about the time you spent in the locker room going over what you expected to do in the second half. Not the way they saw it. Not the way they drew it up. You find out this is something that you can't just edit, right? There's no rewrite here. This is live. And now they've got to find a way out of this hole. Second down, here's Mostert again. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Steps away. Got a man, it's Waddle complete. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Here's Mostert. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Raheem Mostert, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins have broken our tie as they take the lead. The two are going to try and throw for it. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. Well, they tried to get two and ended up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. Fielded right around the eight. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. Exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now, the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, They've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. Second and six, just inside the 30. Operating from the gun, Jones. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there at the moment the ball gets to the receiver. And he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Looking to throw. Jones escaping the pressure right. Throwing deep for Galladay. And this one incomplete. And another throw that really could have been, maybe should have been intercepted. That would have been number four. Instead, it's fourth down. Here's Jamie Gillen now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Now Hill to return it. Oh. 
And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And it'll be Dolphin football. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Two and now on first down. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Tua, and this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. They faked the handoff. Now Tua. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jared Davis. And the Giants are going to take possession of the football. The carry here for the big tight end. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. From the 44, Jones. Out to the right here to Shepard. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with Breida. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. They run again with Breida. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want a back who can create his own space, who can break tackles, and in a sense, become his own blocker. We don't have that guy in the game right now. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. And he finds Shepard. Touchdown, Giants. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sterling Shepard, his second touchdown of the night. And the Giants' decision to go for it pays off with six points. A very important extra point there, up and good. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this. Oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked off by the linebacker, Jared Davis. And the Giants are going to take possession of the football. But just a lot going on there in the middle of the field, and this one winds up a turnover. Yeah, the runner crossing route here, and the idea of it is to get defenders confused about who to go with. 
But if you throw it too early, sometimes it's your quarterback that gets confused. And here, he throws it into coverage and gets it intercepted. down carry for Barkley. What oh, a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right. But the problem for them is still within a possession. So they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Quick pass here, he's got Shepard. Touchdown, Giants! Daniel Jones able to connect with Sterling Shepard, and the Giants will add to their fourth quarter lead. Extra point try, good by Gano, and that will ensure that it will take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. There's still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. In just a one-possession game, down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two-point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. He's got a man complete. And he will step out of bounds all the way down inside the 40. It's a big play there for Miami. 44 yards. We see this happen so often. If you're a defender, it's like watching a bad movie over and over. The pressure's good, forcing the quarterback out of the pocket. But it's a lot to ask for these defenders to stay plastered to receivers long enough. And sure enough, they let a man come open, and the connection leads to a big play. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. And some space here. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped it to one. It's a gain of 35. Well, you hate that for him. He gets so close on the big run, but has him in excellent position. And I know there's plenty of competitive spirit on the defensive side of the ball, but part of me wonders if they would have just preferred him to go ahead and take it into the end zone <laughs> rather than deal with him again on a likely carry on this down. They'll run with Mostert. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Raheem Mostert with his second touchdown of the night. And the Dolphins have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. So now a big play here as the Dolphins will go for the two. They're going to try and run for it. And he's not going to get there. The defense able to come up with a big stop. And they're going to hold on to their two-point lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Fielded right around the eight. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. 
And barring mistakes, they should be able to kneel this one out and finish it off. And there's only one timeout remaining on the defensive side of the ball, so that doesn't really come into play either. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They'll try and run some clock here with Barkley. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. They'll run it again with Barkley. The pick up there, five yards. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. The slot man in motion right. Barkley inside handoff. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. That was an excellent come from behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. They obviously did not give up on that one. And in the end, how about that come from behind victory? They'll cherish this one for a while. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From MetLife Stadium, good night, everybody.